Hello folks, this is a 2024 May June paper 1 1 and the question number is 30. The question is concerned with the chapter superposition of waves. It says that microwaves are emitted from two sources at points x at points x and y, x and y. The two waves meet at point z, yes. The diagram shows the path of the two waves, so straight path, straight path from each of the source to the point z. The waves emitted from point X and Y are coherent. So they say that the waves reaching at point Z is coherent from X and Y. What is our direct consequence of the two waves being coherent? So we have to go for the direct consequence. So let's uh, let's uh, write its meaning. When two waves are coherent, their frequency is same. If I if we go to the definition, there is nothing to uh, think anything else. So just go to the definition. F is same and their phase difference they maintain a constant phase difference at a certain point constant phase difference the phase difference at a certain point should be should be should be should be should be same phase difference at a constant point so here the phase difference should be constant they have to maintain a constant phase difference here throughout time so if it is the difference is maybe 6 pi right now it should remain 6 pi after 1 hour 2. It should remain 6 pi after half hour 2. It should remain 6 pi after 15 minutes 2. It should remain 6 pi after 2 hours 2 and so on. So, these are the two requirements of coherent wave. So, let's see. Number A. There is a constant difference in the path lengths x, y and x, z. Constant, sorry, uh, y, z and x, z. Y, z and x, z difference in path length so it could happen it could happen because when there is phase difference there should be path difference as well and if uh, the the phase difference is constant the path difference is also constant so it could be could be but what we are asked is we are asked the direct consequence so this is not the direct one this is the indirect one first phase difference and then path difference second there is a constant difference in phase between the two waves at z yes this is the direct statement constant difference in phase between the two waves at z. So this is more feasible than this. C. There is a constant non-zero difference in frequencies of the two waves at z. So at z, there is difference of frequency. It says, it says there is a difference in frequency. Frequency. So this is not correct because f should be same. So this is not correct. Another point is, there is a constant non-zero difference in amplitude of the two waves. So Coherent wave do not say anything about the amplitude. So this does not apply. So now among these two, as we have already stated, this is more correct than this one. This is the direct consequence of the definition. This is the indirect consequence. So our best choice should be choice number B.